Greetings, welcome to the Developing Dad Music Channel. I am your host, Michael J. Griffin Jr. And today we have another Hal Leonard bass lesson, all right? So let's get straight to it. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, help me to build the channel. Thank you to, uh, to all of you that have been doing that. I'm really grateful for the subscriptions and for the views. All right, Hal Leonard bass lesson. So grab your book. We're gonna be on pages 12 and 13 today. All right, this is your book. Okay, we're not going to belabor this very long. Let's get straight to it. All right, so we got our open string exercises. All right, so the following exercises will be played on the open strings. If you don't know what open strings are, that's just playing the, the guitar without using depressing your left hand here. All right, so you just play it open. Open, open E, open A, open D, open G. Okay, that's it. That's all that means. And you see the notes there. You see, I've got, it's basically a recreation of what the book has in here. Uh, we're gonna just play these exercises and get straight to it. All right, let me grab my left and on. I, I left it over here, hold on one second. All right, so we're gonna probably play these. Let's say we'll play them at, I generally do 88, but we'll start off, we'll start off a little bit slower than that. Let's start off at 75, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Index, middle, index. One, two. And that was I was supposed to play that with the middle finger. So you're supposed to always alternate fingers, right? Okay. Let's try the A string. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you mute it. All right. So you see my hands. I'm, I'm trying to alternate. The same amount, the same way that they're alternating. All right, here we go. This is the D string. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So you're gonna just practice those. We're on a G string. Now this is where you bring that ring finger into the equation if you want to, or you could bring this thumb down. I'll bring the thumb down. All right. Just, it'll be practice for me because I'm used to doing the thumb, the, the uh, this ring finger thing. But it'll be practice for me. Here we go. Three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. All right. So this is where he starts trying to play. They start trying to play more than one string. Okay. So let's get straight to that. Let's get to it. All right. Here we go. For one two three four it's one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four all right so just playing the open strings but going uh down right down but up in temp up in uh tone but down the the uh you know gravity wise down right <laughs> all right so let's try number six to Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. All right. So then, then it talks about the rake technique. Now, the rake technique is very important because it's going to give you more speed, right? So as you're coming uh, down in tonality but up the bass. You want to make sure that you are uh, using the same finger if you're coming up, right? So you don't want to try to alternate fingers coming up. Let me show you what it's talking about. So it says here, moving moving down a string, use the same finger to play both strings. This is called the rake technique, right? So the example that it uses there is that it's playing the G with the index. Let me turn the, the metronome off really quickly. It's playing the index, right? middle it'll play that same note again but when it's coming up to the uh, D you're gonna just play that you're already there right you're already there right so one two three right so you're already there so you don't and you make sure you mute this okay so you're already there on that if you're doing your letting your fingers do the walking thing and you're alternating you're already gonna be on this uh, note okay so let's try uh exercise is seven eight nine and we'll be done okay so here we go one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four you see
see how I'm muting with my left hand up here. Okay, as I go up, use your left hand to mute. Exercise eight. Exercise nine. So we're going to mix ascending and descending motion throughout the strings. Okay. So it starts on the middle, but you can try it, try it with both. Okay. So let's try that. Here we go. Two, three, four. This has been another Hal Leonard bass lesson. Don't forget to keep practicing and I'll see you all on the next one. This has been the Developing Dad Music Channel and until next time, keep practicing. See y'all around. Bye.